Designers Cafe. So we can kind of get a better picture of what we're working with right here. Okay. So we'll just select the two edges of our back wall of the back hallway and we'll do a connect and we'll move this on out. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and select these edges again and do an additional connect and move this down as well. All right, so let's kind of move these out a little bit. Switch to polygon mode. We'll go ahead and select this poly and we'll extrude. And just like our front door, we're gonna create a frame Additional extrude for the bottom landing portion, if you will, of the staircase. And then we'll do an extrude again. That's going to represent the incline portion of our staircase. An additional extrude that will represent the top landing of our staircase. We'll switch to top view and we'll get that aligned. Well, let's go ahead and actually add the incline now. So we'll select the uh, vertices for the top portion of our landing and we simply move it up. Let's go to our front view. Now we don't necessarily want these two to be touching. Um, just like our door frames uh, for the front door or even the staircase, we want to leave a little bit of a gap um, so that when the next uh, floor starts, the, um, the floor of level 2 and the ceiling of level 1 are not Z-fighting or touching. Basically like what we've done with our walls right here, how we left a gap between all of our walls. We want to do the same thing for our next level. So it looks about right. Go back to perspective. And we'll extrude this out. So we'll go to the left view, press L and then Z to zoom, and we'll extrude. And then hit delete. So now let's actually create the individual steps for the staircase. So we'll switch to uh, edge, use ring, and we'll do a connect. And you'll see it added that slice again directly in the center of our incline, which is perfect for us. And we'll go to either side now and do a new connect. Ring, connect. And now when you start getting down to this fidelity of uh, connects, you can actually start doing multiple selections just to speed the process up. So that should be good. <clears throat> okay, so let's go to the front view and turn everything transparent. And starting from the bottom, we'll start selecting every other vertice on both top and bottom. Okay, with those selected, let's move by our X axis back and then down. Now bear with me, looks like we just completely did the opposite of creating steps, but we're more focused on the top portion of our incline at this point. So now let's deselect the top vertices that we had selected. And we will now move the bottom vertices back up to a nice 90 degree flesh angle. So that way our top incline is straight while we have rigid stair steps. But before we leave that the way it is, Let's move these slightly back again so that we can expose some of these unneeded um, polys between um, slices. And we'll just need to select each one of these. 
until they're all gone. Okay. We will also need to include a vertice on each one of the straight edges. So go back to vertice mode, front view, deselect our newly created vertices. push our steps back into their 90 degree position and then we'll just start scale each step like so And now we'll weld. So we'll select all the vertices on the stairs here, as well as the top. And we'll bring the weld tool up. And sure enough, 198 before, 166 after. So we can test our welds just to make sure it actually worked. And we don't have any leftover polys or verts. Great. All right, so let's go ahead and unhide all of our faces now and see how our staircase is doing from the outside. Oh no, that is not what we intended at all. So if we go to our top view, we can quickly fix this by switching to vertice mode and selecting only the vertices for our top terrace and outer wall. And we'll move those out so it encompasses the staircase you'll see it doesn't protrude anymore but we are left with a big chunk of empty real estate that kind of seems funny that there's nothing there but it wouldn't be too hard if we just extrude this wall out to connect it to the wall of the back staircase so let's do that real quick we'll select this wall and we'll hit extrude and we'll move it out We're about a point, we're touching that. And you can see now we've extruded over some faces that we can delete. And we will simply do a quick weld. And that's it. Let's clean up these unneeded slices. Loop, remove, and we'll get rid of the extroverts. make a connection here and a connection here so let's hide all of our outer faces one more time and let's go ahead and begin to build out our second floor so under polygon mode we will go ahead and press control a while holding shift and clicking the Z axis we can clone our first floor to the second floor. Make sure we clone to element, not clone to object. So let's take a look here. On our first floor, we did not anticipate a flight of stairs to be coming up from, say, the basement. So the wall on the front of the staircase is not cut for another staircase leading up to it. So when we come to our second floor, we run into a problem where this wall is now obstructing the entrance to the staircase for this particular floor. So to fix that, we'll go to our edge mode and we will add a new slice and move this over like so. And we can delete this face. Okay, so now let's go ahead and with our second floor's poly selected, Control I for invert. We're going to hide the first floor. 
because any floor preceding the second floor is going to have the new cuts that we just created and any additional you know windows or terraces that we create on the second floor is going to be duplicated on the additional floors as well so we really don't need to see the first floor anymore